I'm pretty sure I just invented the ultimate device to catch rats. Hi, I'm Plachi and I build friendly stuff. Like this contraption I made to get mice out of my apartment. You see, I was tired of having to catch them by hand, so I remembered that I could use my engineering skills to automate this process. And even though rats are very nasty animals, I still decided that this machine wouldn't be too harsh on them. Well... Kinda. In order to build this machine, I came up with a strategic plan to address every challenge effectively. <laughs> Jesus, I sound like a politician. Detect, neutralize, reinforce, and release. Or how I like to call it, the dinner. First things first, if we want to catch rats, then we need to be able to spot them. And there are many ways that this can be done. We can use infrared sensors, ultrasonic sensors, or even a simple trigger caused by the pull of a cable. However, my favorite one is using a laser and a photoresistor. Since photoresistors can detect changes in ambient light, it is easy to create a security system when you pair them with a laser because once something blocks the beam, the value detected will drastically change. Therefore, letting us know that the mouse has been spotted. Now, how are we gonna neutralize the target once we detect it? Usually, rat traps employ some kind of sticky substance to stop them from escaping, but that is a terrible solution because it only works once. After that, you need to replace the sticky pad with a new one, and I want to make this process completely autonomous. So a better way to keep the rat in place is with a little bit of electricity. Think about it, a controlled electric shock will be enough to immobilize the rat. And you can do it as many times as you want, so you can catch lots of them using just one device. What will happen after that though? I don't want the rats to think they can still come back whenever they want, so I will have to teach them a little lesson before I release them. In other words, we're going to apply what is commonly known as negative reinforcement, and we'll do it with the help of this thing. This is a solenoid, an electromechanical device that is used to produce linear movement. It works by attracting a piston using an electromagnet that's inside of it. By adding a little 3D printed fitting on the tip, we can use the solenoid to give a couple of punches to the rats, so they understand that they are not dealing with a noob. I designed the fitting to look like um, a little boxing glove. I know it seems like I'm gonna Mike Tyson the shit out of the rat, but that's not the case because this is a little fist of comprehension, love, and if you may, even friendship. For the last step, we need to find a way to automatically release the rat into the wild. Like, we really don't want to grab them with our hands, right? Rats are very dirty animals that often carry diseases. So what if we just like, Yeet them. This is a stepper motor, a strong and precise device that I will use to send the target back to where it came from. The way I'm gonna do this is by creating some kind of platform that I'm going to attach to the motor. The platform will have cheese to attract the rat as well as all the system we have planned so far. So when the mouse is detected, the motor will launch them out of my apartment. This is how the platform will look like. It has an opening in the middle, which is how we're going to connect it to the stepper shaft. I 3D printed it in two parts and glued it together because it was longer than the build plate. Okay. So first I'm gonna test how quickly I can rotate the platform. The faster it turns, the further away we'll send the rat. All right, test number one. Too slow. And the final angle is not optimal, but I'll explain how we're gonna solve this. A stepper motor divides a full revolution into a specific amount of steps. That's where it gets its name from. In our case, this motor does it in 200 steps. You can also wire it so every time you send a turn signal, the motor will perform a fraction of a step. Why would you do that though? Well, the smaller the step, the smoother and less noisy the motor will be. I have it wired to perform 1 32nd of a step at a time, which corresponds to 6400 micro steps. And the optimal angle to launch something so it reaches the maximum amount of horizontal distance is 45 degrees, one eighth of a revolution, which corresponds to 800 micro steps. So we just write the code for 800 of those, which happen only when we send a high signal from this Arduino. And between each micro step, we add 100 microseconds of delays. This means that the platform will go from zero to 45 degrees in approximately one tenth of a second. I think that should be enough. All right, test number two. Huh? So I did the math in my head, and by that I mean I tried like 7 million different things to make it work, but this motor is just not strong enough. So I will have to change it for not one, but two bigger stepper motors. And I'm not even sure if that's gonna be enough, so let's see. Also, I 3D printed a little fitting and glued it to the platform so I could attach the second motor. Alright, test number two. Let's see if the two motors are strong enough to at least lift the platform without any weight. <sighs> ah. I forgot to connect the power. What a dumbo. Okay. 
Let's fucking go! No, 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 no. I cannot be certain yet. I still need to test it with the weight of the rat. So, let's see. You go here, and then... No! I think I know what's happening. The command strips holding the motors aren't strong enough to keep them in place. So I'm just gonna hot glue them to the mat. Okay, hot glued them, so that should do it, I hope. Ah, uh, please work! <laughs> Finally! So each part of the system is now complete. The only thing left to finish this rat catcher is to put everything together. I'll start by adding the detection system. On one side, I'll place the laser and on the other, the photoresistor. Now, whenever something blocks the beam, the system will get triggered. After that, I added the taser, which I attached to a servo motor. This way, I can move it away from the platform before it sends the rat flying. Next, I'll place the solenoid beside the end of the platform. As you can see, there is a little wall that prevents the rat from getting punched out of it. Lastly, I'll connect everything to the circuit which also has an mp3 player used for, um, let's say dramatic purposes. So now it's finally time to see if a rat catcher is a success, like Ken Reeves, or a disappointment, like me. Okay, so let's say that the rat enters my apartment, climbs my desk, I don't know how, but it does it. When it gets to the top, somehow decides not to chew any of the cables, and then it says, oh shit, there is cheese. And then when it gets here, this is what happens. Rat. Hey there, Mr. Rat. It seems like you just fell into my trap, but don't worry, I'll try to be gentle. Neutralize. Listen to me, buddy. This apartment is too small for the two of us, so take this as your one and only warning sign. Reinforce. Now, go back to the dirty hole you came from and tell your friends who the boss is. Release. <laughs> oh boy, the moment this thing catches something real, I'm cooking an insane fried rice. 